like what I have. Ooh la la. Blank boards to work on. Okay, so I have my big old jug of gesso here. And I am just going to splotch a little bit on here. It's thick stuck stuff. That's enough to do all of it, I think. But just so kind of leaves a chalky ground to work on and it's and it's real fun to then add paint and um, and pencil on there. It, it gives it kind of a nice quality. Kind of a texture freak, so I'm gonna do something that's a little fun with this gesso. But I have some stencils, and I'm just gonna get a, you know, not a huge amount, but a thick amount on my handy dandy credit card. So the series that I'm working on is called The Happiest Day of My Life. I revisit this probably every year or so for the last 10 years. I'm so inspired by this beautiful young woman who really um, can do anything, I think. And um, the story goes, I went to a yard sale and there was uh, two sisters there that were getting rid of everything from their aunt's house who had passed away. And I collect photos and so I asked, um, do you have any old photos? And they said, oh yeah, we just threw a box away. Um, I said, oh please, can I buy them from you? And they're like, oh sure, because we don't know any of these people. Well, I don't know any of the people either, but I still like to collect photos of other people's family. Don't ask me why. Well, in this box, Mom, there was something very special. My friend Meg Gibson, was. we were pawing through the photos because they range from like mid 1800s up to the 70s. And um, she pulled one out of this woman, just a very drab kind of scene. And on the back, it says to Uncle Smith, February 9th. This is the happiest day of my life. And so it's just an interesting concept that I don't know why it was the happiest day of her life. No one will ever know, but uh, I'm, I, I make up reasons why it was. And so through the years, I've done different things. Sometimes they correlate with what my kids have got going on, but I like to think Uncle Smith taught her music. Therefore, I altered the image and gave her a violin. You can see her old arm is still in this piece. I'm gonna cut that out and, and work with this. But, um, so yeah, I always do collage with it and I've been thinking a lot about her and her resiliency and she's kind of an inspiration, so. I want to honor her. And I do celebrate every February 9th. I've used my poetic license in um, claiming that this man is Uncle Smith, even though he's from the 1800s and she's probably from the 1950s. Um, I just, uh, I, I, like, I like him. I think he knows how beautiful and smart she is and he taught her how to play music. I do have another image here. This man is probably more of the time period. So I had married them together and I have them holding hands. And I just think it's so sweet that Uncle Smith is just making sure that she has the best time of her life.
I got my three collages going of the Happiest Day of My Life series. This piece is kind of a, a revisit of um, a series within a series, which is, it's called um, She Plays and They Sing. And I've done several pieces of that and I really didn't know this was gonna happen that way, but it did come out that way and I really just love it. Now I'm gonna go in and add some shadows. I have a few more things to finish on this piece. It's the one piece that has kind of made me a little crazy compositionally because I, uh, it needed another element, so I'm adding in a road that will swirl around. And then I'm gonna add a good old hound dog. 